it's Katie and Jazzy. So today's video, we will be doing a hedgy video. So we have our hedgehog. This is Piper. And this is Stella. And, and I have had Stella for almost a year now. I got her in July of last year and she was born on Mother's Day last year. <laughs> and so, um, as you guys know, I've loved hedgehogs and I was so excited when I was finally able to get one because I'd researched and just mm -hmm. wanted one for a long time. Yeah, and I got Piper actually a week ago, but I have been waiting for her for about a month for her to be ready to take home. And when Katie got her hedgehog, I thought Stella was so cute and I've always wanted like my very own pet. I've always had like dogs and stuff, but I haven't had my own and so I just researched them and you know, I kind of fell in love and yeah. And Piper and Stella yeah. are actually cousins. We've mm -hmm. been talking to the breeder yep. and we asked her if they were related in any way and she said they were actually cousins. So yeah. I actually was able to see a picture of Stella's mom mm -hmm. and Stella is grumpy and her mom looks exactly like Stella. It's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, right down to the does. grumpy face. Mm -hmm. oh. So that is what we will be basically just talking about yeah. hedgehog info and mm -hmm. we know that some of you guys are curious. Yeah, so that's basically what we will be doing in yep. today's video. So let's get started. Starting off with just our experiences mm -hmm. with hedgehogs. Yeah. They do have this lovely thing called spines. spines yeah. And your hands look will pricked. get pricked and you'll have to get used to it. Mm -hmm. The first time you feel them, your hands will probably hurt, but after a while, like I hold Stella like this and stuff, mm -hmm. perfect example, and doesn't hurt anymore. It also depends on what your hedgehog's yeah, their, um, personality, attitude and stuff, they tend to spine up more. Yeah. Like, uh, talking about attitude, every hedgehog has a different one, so you really never know what you're going to get until you pick them up from the breeder. There's mm -hmm. more shy ones, and mm -hmm. there's huffers, which Stella is a huffer. She's yeah. not that bad today, but she is a huffer. Um, mm -hmm. Piper's more shy, but she huffs quite a bit, too. They're all different. So. Yeah, they all come in different shapes and sizes, <laughs> and too. And colors. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Speaking of colors, Hedgehogs come in all different types of color coats, so Piper is called salt and pepper and so she has these dark colored spines with cream mixed in and then she has a white belly. And Stella is a cinnamon. She has like this blondish cream color coat and the back of her are like lighter if that makes sense. And then her belly, it just white. <laughs> and she kind of balled up a little bit because she doesn't like being on her back. So for hedgehogs, if you want to get one, you need to keep in mind that you probably want to have a pretty big size cage because it needs to fit a water bottle, um, food bowl, igloo, <gasps> you know, plenty of space for them to roam around and yeah. also a wheel because they need their exercise. And also, going along with wheels, you really want to make sure that you don't get like a mesh one, <laughs> which has little tiny holes in it, because their little um, toes can get stuck in there. Yeah. And you wouldn't really want to have bars on your wheel, because mm -hmm. if your hedgehog's a little bigger, it could get stuck. So now we're going to be talking about kind of our daily routine for our hedgies mm -hmm. and what we have to do to take care of them. So, in the morning, we usually uh, have a nice surprise on their wheels because yeah. hedges like to uh, poop all over their wheels. Yeah, and go to the bathroom. So, you really have to clean up their house really yeah. good. Cause... And also clean their feet because yeah. you have to get them... Well, usually Stella don't have to give them to her every day, mm -hmm. but some hedgehogs you have to give them yeah. daily foot baths, which is just filling up a little bit of water in your mm -hmm. sink and just kind of taking a toothbrush. Yeah, a little old just toothbrush. Kind of scrubbing their feet. Mm -hmm. Cause the poop from their wheel can kind of get caked in their nails mm -hmm. and you don't want that, so. Yeah. Also, in after all of that, we mm -hmm. just cuddle with them. Uh -huh. I have a cuddle sack that my yeah. mom actually made. 
-hmm. And Stella's has these little like ring things on them so I can put it around my side and carry it around easier. Mm -hmm. You also obviously gotta make sure you fill up their water bottle and their food. And with food, we recommend a nice high quality cat food. And the type of cat food that we use is Wellness Core and uh, Piper, since she's still little, uh -huh. she's on the, the kitten formula yeah, kitten. and Stella's just on the normal. Adults. Mm -hmm. And we recommend this, just any yeah. type of high, more high-end, it's just better on their stomachs and uh -huh. healthier for them in general. And since high quality foods could be a little bit more pricey than the regular, I would actually really recommend ordering it online because it's a lot cheaper. Mm -hmm. And also, um, definitely you'll want to know what temperatures. Uh, yeah. Because in the winter, they need to be in a temperature of 70 to 78 degrees or else they will go into hibernation yeah. and that's not good. Yeah, they could potentially die if they went in there. I know that's so, frightening, yeah, but it it's, it's the truth. Mm -hmm. So you just have to be careful and make sure yeah. they have blankets and stuff uh -huh. over their cages. So another thing that happens to hedgehogs is actually a process called quilling, mm -hmm. which is, you know, it first happens when they're babies and then it kind of happens at different periods of their lives. Mm -hmm. So they basically lose their quills. Like Piper lately has been losing a lot, but that's completely normal. Just make sure... Don't freak out. <laughs> yeah, just make sure they have a little, like, bulb at the end. And they're pointy. Mm -hmm, because, um... You know, if it doesn't, it could mean they have mites or something like that. Just want to be aware. Yeah. But usually at the little teeny tiny spines, mm -hmm. that just means that they're in their quilling process. And also be aware that your hedgehog might be a little bit of gr grumpy because yeah. it's, it's like... painful. Yeah, it's like an ingrown toenail or ingrown nail in general. That's yeah. what the equivalent it feels like to them. And that's... that that's it. Wow, I can speak, guys. Thousands <laughs> of spines on their back. So yeah. that's got to be painful. Mm -hmm. So those were just some, you know, random facts that we wanted to share with you guys about hedgehogs. And they're really fun pets to have. I really enjoyed it personally. Yeah, they're, <laughs> they're so much fun. Um, but they definitely require, you know, a lot more care than some other animals. They're kind of high maintenance, but I don't really mind. And that's a good thing because mm -hmm. they tend to live five to seven years. Which yeah. That's a long time, and yeah. I'm so, going to enjoy all of these years with it's Stella. A, it's a pretty big commitment. You definitely don't want to just, you know, buy them because you see it on the internet and you really want one, and then you have to end up rehoming it. Do your research. Yeah, really. Just make sure that you're prepared because, you know, you have to bond with them and take care of them really nicely, so. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just, just know what you're getting into yeah <laughs> you don't want to like take home and be like oh no what did i get myself into yeah just be ready mm -hmm. and you know as we said through this whole thing research 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 and there are also a lot of helpful youtube videos out there yeah like, even after i uh, reserved to get my hedgy i still watched a ton of youtube videos because yeah it I, really helps I never stopped researching. Yeah. I just made sure I had all of them. Even now, almost having mm -hmm. Stella a year, I still go on Google and just yeah. search things just because there's some things that I didn't know. Yeah. So just always keep that in mind. And They're just such fun creatures to have. <laughs> they're really sweet and really fun too. And spazzy like these two. They've been <laughs> running around this whole time. Yeah. And Stella's just wanting to sleep. They were like really, um, really crazy and then all of a sudden they got really calm. Yeah. When this video first started, before we even started filming, they were like, <laughs> especially that one. Yeah. She's really crazy. Especially since she's a baby. She's so hyper. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So we really hope you enjoyed learning about hedgehogs and also be sure to comment down below if you have any other questions about, you know, them or what kind of care they need. If there's something we forgot, then just let us know in the comments and we'll be sure to answer. So don't forget to like, subscribe and follow us on Instagram, Snapchat and Twitter. And we will see you in our next video. Bye! Bye.